thing I know. It was like I was there once, single parents, hate your appearance. Did you struggle to find your place in this world? And the pain spawns all the anger. Hey guys, what is up? And all here today bringing you guys another cartoon conspiracy. So sorry if I sound a little bit quiet, a little monotone. My parents are asleep upstairs and it's 3.41 in the morning, so I kind of got to be quiet because they got to work in the morning. And I am also a little sick, so try to bear with me. But remember, if you guys enjoy this video, be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button below, and also leave a comment on the, what kind of other theories you guys would like to see. So with that said, we're going to go ahead and get into this theory, which as you guys can read by the title, is the tick is actually a sick kid's imagination basically so there's this sick kid that imagines uh that imagines everything that happens to the chit that happens to the tick and what is going on he basically imagines everything that's in his room so he just imagines stuff in his surroundings like for example he imagines his enemies as like the faceless ones would be like action figures you play with uh, the plant villain is based on the side of the flowers outside of the kid's bedroom. The chair face character is represented by maybe a seat in the child's room or a seat that he would like to sit in or something like that. Um, according to the theory, though, the kid has a blood sickness from a tick bite. That's why he's so sick and he has to be in his room at all times. That's why he would imagine the tick as a superior, like, superior person because he's got all them superpowers that he can basically do whatever he wants with. So that's why the kid imagines the tick as superior as he is. Uh, the man Arthur, that is the guy that flies around in a white business suit, is actually representing the kid's father who is divorced from the mother who is actually a very busy accountant and that's why he's flying around in a white suit. Uh, the American Maid character represents the kid's mother, who is the only character who knows what she's doing, because moms are always right, you know what I mean? Kind of like growing up, moms are always right, you always listen to your mom, blah, 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 blah. Uh, but despite being very sexualized, the tick never shows interest, because that would be creepy, because the tick is probably actually supposed to be the kid, so he's imagining himself as a like superhero and he can't be you know into his mom because that would be incest you know what i mean so basically there's one more thing with this theory it says the character die Flutimus is the kid's stepfather who is trying to connect while the kid while he is sick so basically this kid's stepfather is trying to connect with him while he's sick trying to you know make him better feel better like brighten up his day and yeah so that's it with this theory guys i hope you guys enjoy like this new format of video i write down some notes and i just kind of give you guys my thoughts and my opinions all together without reading an article if you guys do like this new you know thing going on be sure to leave a comment in the comment section below and tell me that and if you guys want to see more videos leave a like that will help out the channel and also hit that subscribe button that will help out the channel i will see you guys in the next cartoon conspiracy this is andal and goodbye